Thank you, Roberto. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my uh, presentation today uh, is going to talk about uh, the, the work we have been doing in the last uh, dozen of years about uh, the uh, performance of uh, concrete recycled aggregates. And this, this work has been done uh, academically, uh, academic wise in, uh, as part of, of uh, my research activity at the University of Salerno and also uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, knowledge transfer as part of our of the work done by our spin-off company thesis. Um, as, as I mentioned, we've started uh, uh, more or less uh, uh, 12 years ago working on, the, on this topic. And when we started, we realized that uh, the uh, uh, research that was doing it, uh, on, on this topic was uh, impromptu to sheer empiricism, uh, where, we, where people basically started from, from, from a reference topic, a reference uh, mixture, took out the original, original aggregates, replaced it with, with recycled ones, and so what happened. And this was, I mean, this was some, some results taken from the literature at that time. What we would like to, to, to better understand uh, was, to, was to try to understand the fundamental reasons for this decay, for this reduction, not just observe them and, 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 and write a paper. Uh, basically, the, the, the idea is just we, we, we started thinking about what is the difference between a natural aggregate and there is aggregate aggregate. And, and this was uh, this, this shown uh, easily uh, um, uh, very soon that uh, the aggregate aggregate as a, as a more complex structure is, is dirty, let's say, is, is there are some uh, attached mortar which makes uh, the aggregate 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 much more uh, uh, much more uh, much more porous as you can see here when, when you compare natural aggregates these are uh, these are coarse aggregates of different sizes but both courses these are, these are natural aggregates and these are the recycled aggregate, uh, uh, recycled concrete aggregates so it's it's almost one one order of magnitude more porous more uh, with, with, with the higher water absorption of course you can do something to, to reduce this uh, this 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 um, water absorption what is this this uh, 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 porosity of the aggregate. For instance, you can put it in a mill and try to, to obtain some some reduction in, in uh, some re uh, re removal of the of the uh, um, of the uh, uh, attached mortar. But this costs energy, so uh, it should be uh, good. Uh, this should be balanced. I mean, the use of energy should uh, uh, somehow re could somehow reduce uh, uh, and affect the the effectivity or the effect effectiveness of this this uh, process in in uh, uh, reducing. Uh, Using uh, uh, the natural impact, uh, the, the environmental impact of concrete. So, the idea was to not just to, to look at how much uh, we, how much, how many, how much uh, uh, um, aggregate we replace, but also to, to look at the quality of those aggregates. So, we, we, we uh, one of the possibilities to uh, propose this, this 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 table, which can, can give you an idea of how how much porous, how, how much uh, um, water absorption have these aggregates, and, and see. That, that this, this can be a measure for 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 for, uh, for the quality of aggregate. So it's not just a matter of quantity, but also a matter of quality. And here, for instance, when you another parameter, since uh, since uh, porosity is, is a new new parameter, it's a more important uh, parameter in, in recycled aggregates. Of course, when you compare mixture with dry aggregates and saturated aggregates at, at mixture, when, when you when you mix the aggregates, of course, there is almost no difference for. Uh, for the for the mixture for the reference mixture the, the first columns but when uh, when you go to the to a, to a 50 percent of, of of replacement you see that the, the dry aggregates uh, works better because basically they they they, they uh, reduce the the the, um, the water water ratio water, water cement ratio so our approach was was based on on this observe on this uh, fundamental observation and we came up with a, 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 a kind of generalization of the Amram's law which uh, in, include not only the water cement ratio to control the, the, the compressive strength, but also the aggregate replacement ratio, of course, as, as other authors have, have, have done also, but also including some measures of the quality of the, of the aggregate, aggregate, which we measure, with which we, we quantify in terms of water absorption capacity. And also this other important feature, whether the, the aggregate is mixed in dry or saturated condition. Basically, I mean, the... the, the, the the approach is, is as, as its own uh, level of complexity, but the idea was mainly to define a um, effective water water cement ratio, which is affected by not only by the, the nominal one, but also by a, a parameter which depends on how uh, by the initial moisture condition of, of, of aggregates and also by their porosity. So this is a, the idea, and with the, this idea in mind, we of course we. We propose our approach, which cannot be summarized in 10 minutes, but, but uh, for those of you who are interested, can be 
uh, they can find the information on this paper or on this thesis, which is uh, easily accessible as it is uh, published in, in, uh, in Springer thesis. And the idea, the fundamental idea is that we have a generalization of, of, of the, of the, of the um, Abraham's law. So uh, depending on the, on the quality of the, of the aggregates, we can obtain a family of curves, not just one curve. And then with this, we can control the quality of, 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 of concrete. So this was the initial observation. But if we uh, read this, 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 this data with our, with our model, we can see that we can have a, a good uh, prediction, the red, the, the red dots with respect, or, or these are these equivalent chart, uh, a good prediction of the empirical observation. This uh, is uh, promising for, uh, for uh, has been promising for our for our for our work ahead. Uh, uh, what is the work ahead? The work ahead is now to try to demonstrate that it's possible to design concrete with this aggregate, also with let's say medium to medium, medium to high, uh, uh, medium to high um, uh, strength. And here you see. The results of uh, two, two reference uh, mixtures, 35 megapascal or 60 megapascal, and then with some different solutions based on replacing, let's say they're more or less the same quantity. Uh, uh, so with, with this approach, we can basically control the uh, uh, the, uh, um, the strength, which is what we know, what, which, what, which, is, which is what we want as, as, as structural engineers or concrete technologists for those who are concrete technologists. Uh, um, uh, oh, it, we, we can we can control we can control uh, strength and as we control strength we control also the other the other, the other uh, um, properties especially the, the durability related ones here you see something related to physical cycles and you see the, that the natural aggregate concrete performs in my, uh, compares very well with the recycled aggregate concrete here but also we can scale up and go to the structural scale and you see there are two, 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 two uh, uh, beams, uh, one designed to fail in uh, bending, the other is designed to fail in shear uh, with the same uh, concrete mixture. And you see that, that uh, the uh, results for, for the reference mixture compares, uh, co uh, um, fully compares with the ones uh, of the two uh, uh, mixtures with, with recycled aggregate uh, concrete. This is the case for the, for the um, uh, beam failing uh, in, in bending, and these are some information of the, about the uh, spacing of, of, of of, uh, of cracking at failure, but also the same can be said for uh, the, uh, the, the beam which is supposed to, to fail in, 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 in shear. So uh, the bottom line of, the, of the today's speech is that uh, with our method we can control the, 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 the design of mixtures with concrete with, with the static aggregates, also with, with, the, with not, not only with, with, with low strength but also up to medium and, uh, and high strength. This work has been uh, mainly done in collaboration with our colleagues of the uh, University of Rio de Janeiro, led by Professor uh, Romilo Toledo, uh, as part of projects uh, granted by the, the, the European Union. Uh, Encore was the first one, Superconquer is the, uh, the one that followed. And now we are going, and here these are the, the challenge, the, the new projects we are now running. This project has been, uh, has been started a uh, started, uh, uh, few, few months ago, and we here we look for the fine part of the of the aggregates which is still uh, uh, rising uh, uh, concerns what we have what, what i've talked about so far deals mainly with coarse aggregates now we have to talk about uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the fine part and here the idea is to try to exploit the the, the, the properties of this uh, the aggregates for the fine part for the for 3d printing uh, uh, another uh, project that uh, started a few days ago because it's, uh, it starts uh, at the beginning of March, uh, which includes uh, these uh, European universities, uh, overseas universities, and some uh, European companies, uh, has to do also with the, the energy efficiency of concrete, uh, of, concrete uh, of cement based uh, uh, composites. Uh, so it, it, it widens somehow the, 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 the problem, not only to the structural, to the structural standpoint, but also to. Uh, let's say building physics uh, related uh, aspects and here you see final final application related to, with our with our knowledge transfer activity based with, with our uh, which we carry out with our uh, um, spin-off company and here you see uh, one of the uh, projects we have developed this, uh, this project that has been completed some some months ago with the idea to recycle concrete for the constructible members so try to Build up blocks like this, which can be easily assembled by uh, by pre stressing. For instance, in this case, pre stressing is a special feature because it's done with the, 
uh, iron-based uh, shape memory alloys, which is the expertise of this uh, repair, which is Swiss, uh, a Swiss, uh, a Swiss company, a Swiss, uh, a Swiss, uh, a Swiss uh, spin-off company. So we, what we did, we tried to uh, made a concept for uh, uh, realizing the blocks made of recycled aggregate, and then designed the system, the concept for for uh, uh, for, uh, um, uh, deconst for a deconstructable uh, uh, system. And then other another project which also involved our you know, company for re recycling uh, the, the fine part for, for 3D printing. So we are, we are collaborating with this. Uh, is a spin-off company of UPC, which is uh, in uh, the uh, 3D printing business. And finally, an application for the, from the field, applying our method to uh, recycle the uh, uh, RC poles from electric, electric power lines. Enel is pushing their supplier to rise the sustainability ambition, let's say. And uh, one of their uh, suppliers asked us to optimize the, 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 the uh, the mixtures. And what we did, we, we, we proposed several mixtures, and finally we <laughs> developed uh, uh, you know, the, the, the best the, the best solutions to to, uh, to replace, let's say, to, to recycle uh, concrete from the decommissioned poles to realize new poles. And these are results that uh, are are are, are uh, let's say demonstrating that uh, this is feasible and this can be done. Of course, this, this will not save the world. I mean, this is not something that saves the world. It's a small segment of, of, of concrete industry. But in my opinion, it's a good example of a sector-wise circular, circular implementation of the circular economy, which can be also exported to other sectors. With this, I uh, finish my presentation. Thank you for your attention.